What was your first TV memory? Play school. I remember guessing if the film would come through off the round window or the square one. And I still remember the names of all the toys. Humpty, Big Ted, Little Ted, Jemima and Tumble. Who was your first TV crush? I didn't have a crush on anyone on TV but I liked Demand, who was on telly a lot in videos. I come from a theatrical background and he was pretty theatrical with all the makeup and costumes. I loved Muttley and Scooby-Doo but didn't fancy them of course, I was just an animal person. What was your first TV appearance? I started out as a dancer and I was at the arts educational school doing a musical theatre course. The Wide Awake Club TV Am's children's slot was looking for a group to dance with bands on the show and I became one of them. We were called Wacky Feet and the first thing I danced to was Wake Me Up Before You Go Go by Wham, wearing a purple all-in-one leotard with purple leg warmers. It helped me get a job as a presenter on the show afterwards. Which TV show would you take on a desert island? It's an American show called So You Think You Can Dance. The quality of dance over there is just unbelievable. Because I started as a dancer, I still have a passion for it. I also like Would I Lie to You, which I was recently on, and anything with Kate Humble in it. Guiltiest TV pleasure. I find Gogglebox really funny. I love people saying what you'd say at home and it's not bitchy or malicious. For me as a presenter, it's a real insight as to what people notice. What are you up to at the moment? I'm working on a campaign to help the endangered kiwi birds in New Zealand. Their population has declined by 99% in the past 50 years and unless we create predator-free communities, they could become extinct. More about Michaela's campaign at oldmouthsider.co.uk slash help save dash the dash kiwi.